prior to making steel, we need to make iron. At Port Kembla, iron is produced using the blast furnace method. This is the same method used for around 70% of the world's steel production. Bluescope's number 6 blast furnace stands 90 metres tall. It is a large steel shell shaped like a bottle. A tremendous reaction takes place inside the vessel and the steel shell is protected by a refractory brick lining and a complex water cooling system. When you hear the term relining a blast furnace, this refers to replacing and rebuilding this system. The vessel is under intense pressure. Valves are opened up at the top to allow for the regular and constant addition of raw materials, such as iron ore and coke. The heavy burden of these materials makes its way slowly towards the base of the vessel, where it is all melted by a blast of hot air. This air is blasted into the furnace through a series of 28 air jets, called tweers. The heat burns the coke and a chemical reaction occurs. Carbon combines with the oxygen and leaves iron behind. The gas that is formed by the process makes its way through the burden and is collected at the top. It's a gas with a high calorific value. This means that it can be used to fire furnaces elsewhere at the steelworks and to make electricity. At regular intervals, tap holes are opened at the base of the furnace to drain out the iron product, which is now a very hot liquid. The blast furnace process is undergoing constant change to reduce the need for carbon and its impact on the environment. For example, the technology to add hydrogen as a substitute for carbon is under development, but can be retrofitted on number 6 blast furnace. We are also looking to install a gas recovery turbine system to generate power. Studies are also underway for the use of biochar a more sustainable source of carbon from forestry and construction waste. At Bluescope, we are busy planning for the future of steelmaking.